Hello, my name is Kimberly Palgrave and I've joined BCF as Clinical Development Manager. I'm a veterinary surgeon and my aim is to develop clinical materials and training courses which will be of use to the veterinary industry for both veterinary surgeons and nurses. Today we will be discussing vertebral heart scoring. This is a method that is used to evaluate the size of the heart on radiography. The vertebral heart score is only one method which is available to measure the size of the heart. In this method, the size of the cardiac silhouette is evaluated on a lateral thoracic radiograph and both the width and the length of the heart and the cardiac silhouette are measured and then compared to the thoracic spine to achieve a numerical value. This numerical value is the vertebral heart score and can be used to determine whether or not the heart is enlarged. Now I will demonstrate how to obtain a vertebral heart score. The first step is to obtain a very good quality lateral thoracic radiograph. This includes adequate collimation as well as an appropriate technique. The next thing is to determine the borders of the cardiac silhouette. The four points which are most important to be able to evaluate are the ventral border of the carina, the apex of the heart, and the widest parts of the cardiac silhouette. The next piece of anatomy that you need to be able to identify is the fourth thoracic vertebra. You can identify this vertebra by starting at the first thoracic vertebra. This is the one which has the first rib initiating from it. If you find the first rib, go up to the vertebra that it is attached to, which in this case is this vertebra here, and count back to the fourth one. One, two, three, four. Then we can start to actually take some measurements. The first measurement which you need to obtain is the length of the heart. You do this by taking a piece of paper and a pen, and you will start first by obtaining the length of the heart, of the cardiac silhouette that is. So you will start with the tip of the paper at the ventral border of the carina, and take that all the way to the apex, like so. You will then make a mark on the piece of paper along the border to indicate the length of the cardiac silhouette. The next step is to measure the width of the cardiac silhouette. This is done using the same piece of paper along the same margin as you use to measure the length. You will go in a perpendicular line to the one that you've just taken for the length and you will measure the width at the widest part. Once you've obtained those two marks, then you will go and measure these, the length of these lines according to how they correspond to the thoracic vertebra, starting from T4, which we've already indicated. One, two, three, four. And you always start from the cranial end plate. You will measure the length of the line in vertebral body space. This will be measured up to 0.1 decimal point. One, two, three, four, point three. And you do the same for your other mark. Three, four. One, two, three, four, five. We'll call it five point two. You then add these values together, and this numerical value that you've obtained is your vertebral heart score. 
in this case, 9.5. The range of normal values for the vertebral heart score are between 8.5 and 10.5 for dogs and around 7.5 for cats. However, it's always important to bear in mind that there are species variations, particularly for dogs such as Boxers and Cavalier King Charles Spaniels, whose normal values will usually tend to be outlying from the normal range values. So the vertebral heart score of 9.5, which we have obtained for this radiograph in this animal, is within the normal limits. Thank you.